Hello dear friends. So today we're going to hear a story from the Disney Storybook Collection. Today we're going to hear the second story. The story is about Handy Manny. The story name is The Best Repairman. The characters of the story are Dusty, Manny, Stretch, Rusty, Turner, Philip, Pat and Squeeze. His repair shop had o- only open for a few minutes. But Manny had already his first customer of the day. It was Gabriel. On her walk through the park that morning, she noticed that the sparrow fountain was broken. I found the statue's beak on the ground, Gabriel explained. It must have fallen through the big storm last night. Thanks, Gabriel, said Manny. The tools and I will have it fixed in no time. As soon as Gabriel left the shop, Manny ran to answer the phone. Handy Manny's repair shop. You break it, we fix it. Manny, it's Jasmine Chung from Street Rocks Hills, Hellard. I'm calling to tell you that I have been picked as the country's best repairman. Manny couldn't believe it. Wow, me. Gracias. That's very nice of you. Jasmine explained that she was writing a story about Manny and wanted to interview him as his next repair shop. A reporter is coming to interview me at the park, Manny told the tools. At once he hung with Jasmine. Cool, a reporter, Pat shouted. Uh, what's a reporter? A reporter is someone who writes stories in the periodico. The newspaper, explained Philip, and she's going to write a story about us. That's right, Philip, but we need to first buy some supplies so we can repair the Sparrow Mountain, said Manny. Where does Manny usually buy his supplies? Yes, at Kelly's hardware store. On his way to the hardware store, Manny passed Mr. Lopart, who was squirting something into his door. Hola! Mr. Lopat, is there something wrong with your door? Well, on hot days like today, it swells up and doesn't close right. Miss Lopat grunted, pushing the door with all his might. But I put a little grease on it, so it should be good as new. Oof! Mr. Lopat slipped on the grease and fell onto the pavement. Manny helped him to get back up. We could help you fix your door after I... In newspaper interview, Manny offered. No, Manny, I don't need any newspaper interview. Mr. Lopas shouted. Stretch beamed with pride. Yes, the street Rock Hills Hellard named Manny as the best repairman in the whole country. We're meeting the reporter in the park. But first, we need to get to the hardware store. Adios, said Manny. Hmm, thought Mr. Lopart. If I can bring some of my candy to the park and let the reporter try it, maybe she'll name me as the country's best sweet maker on the right stop. At the hardware store, Manny talked to Kelly about his big interview while the tool looked for supplies. Let's see, Dusty said, looking around the shop. We need to find just the right item for this job. You said it, Dusty, Pat agreed. Um, what job is that? Turner scowled. Sparrow Fountain, you hammerhead. We need to stick the beak to the statue of the bird, remember? Stretch scanned on the shelves. Hmm, what should we use to secure the beak back to the statue? Should we go with easy tie string? Strong and sticky grout or shiny bright paint? Which item is best for the job? Well, most statues are heavy because they are made of stone, Philip pointed out. So I don't think that string is strong enough to hold the heavy beak in place. And paint won't help. It'll just make the beak colorful, said Rusty. So it must be strong and stick grout. That's what we need, shouted Squeeze. Hooray! We figured it out, Manny grinned. (laughs) Great job, Tools. After ringing up Manny's purchase at the cash register, 
Skelly showed everyone her framed newspaper article. You know, the newspaper did an article on me when I first opened the hardware store. Wow, they put your picture in the paper and everything, marveled Pat. Will we get our picture on the paper too, Manny? Shrieked Dusty. Maybe, answered Manny. The tools couldn't contain their excitement and started hopping all around the hardware store. Once they got to the park, Manny inspected the damage to Sparrow Fountain. Hmm, looks like the pipes inside the fountain are broken too, noted Manny. All the water has drained out. This made Squeeze sad. Aww. The birds come here and they have nothing to drink. You're right, Squeeze, but we can fix it, promised Manny. Of course we can, Manny. And the reporter can take me a photo of us repairing the fountain, said Philip. Ooh, I hope I look extra shiny with my big newspaper picture. Just then, a woman raised over the fountain. Manny, Jasmine Chung here. She said quickly, ready for the interview? Yes. Yes. Okay, then take a seat. Let's get to it. Yikes. She talks so fast that I'm starting to get dizzy, Rusty whispered to Bat. Well, I should really take care of the repairs first, Manny started to say. Oh, this will take only a few minutes, Jasmine interrupted, fiddling with her tape recorder. We'll just zip through it, I promise. And then you can get try to work. Super idea? Right, yes. Let's get started, shall we? Um, okay, said Manny, a little unsure. Great, Jasmine exclaimed, pressing the record button on her tape recorder. So, did you always wanted to be a repairman? Oh, yes, Manny grinned. My parents tell me that fix was my very first word. That's a great quote, Jasmine said. I may even put that under your picture. Picture? shouted Dusty as she and the other tools started to gather around Manny. Squeeze shrieked. If we say something great, will you put us on our pictures too? I just might, answered Jasmine. Then my picture is going in the paper for sure, boasted Turner, because everything I say is great. Don't listen to him. He gets a screw loose. Philip sneered. I, however, can twist and turn like no other. Plus, I'm really, really shiny. In their struggle to get Jasmine's attention, Turner and Philip crashed into Jasmine's tape recorder. It fell into the ground, causing a button to fly off. Manny picked up the tape recorder and quickly snapped the button back into place. Jasmine was amazed. Thanks, Manny. Nice work. As for you two, Manny said to Turner and Philip, you have to be more careful. See, whispered Philip, embarrassed. Okay, Turner sighed. Maybe everyone would be a little more relaxed after we fix the fenute, suggested Manny. A fenute? We can't fix a fenute now, Manny. Stand Pat. We have to fix the fountain. Fenute is Spanish for fountain, Pat. Stretch giggled. First, we have to repair the water sprout inside the fountain, observed Manny. So I'll need Rusty to help me with that. Jasmine, get her camera ready. Great. An action shot is like that is sure to make into the paper. Photo in the paper, said Philip, jumping in front of the camera. What good is a photo without something shiny in it? Not wanting to miss out the photo, Turner pushed Philip aside and was joined by Dusty, who was practicing all his best poses. Soon, all the tools were hopping around Jasmine, showing off their special talents. Stretch jumped upon her head to ma take measurements, while Pat hammered the ground around Jasmine's feet. Squeeze tried to crush an acorn, but instead set it flying into Jasmine's leg. Yikes! screeched Jasmine. Tools, stop! 
Manny ordered. I know you want your pictures in the paper, but you're forgetting why Jasmine wants a picture on the paper. To begin with, because I'm so shiny. See, asked Philip. No, Philip, Manny continued. Because we help others by fixing things, but we can't help anyone if you're all too busy smiling and posing. The tools felt bad about the way they had acted. The fountain is broken, and the birds can't get a drink on a hot day like today. So instead of worrying about getting our picture in the paper, let's think about why we're really here to help others. Cheered Dusty. Let's go and fix it right. Manny and the tools work together to fix the fountain. Wow, Manny, you really are the country's best repairman," raved Jasmine. "Sparrow Fountain looks as good as new." "Look, the birds are returning to the fountain," Rusty said. Manny smiled. "Magnificent! More happy customers." "Okay, now the fountain is fixed. Let's get back to our interview," suggested Jasmine. "I don't think we need to worry about any more interruptions." Wait! Stop! Shouted Mr. Lopart, frantically pushing a wheelbarrow filled with sweets towards the jasmine. Interview me too! I'm the country's best sweets maker. Whoops! Mr. Lopart's wheelbarrow hit a rock, and a puff of sticky candy floss landed right onto Jasmine's head. Manny chuckled. Jasmine, you may want to track down the country's best hairdresser for your next interview. The following week, Manny flipped through the newspaper to find Jasmine's article. There it is. There's the picture. Yelled Squeeze. Turner was surprised. Hey, we're all in it. See, I may be the country's best repairman, but you're the country's best tools. Manny said. We make a great team. The end. I hope you like the story and please like and subscribe to our channel to watch new videos every day. Goodbye.